Hey guys, I'm Edward Starcraft and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to go for the three gate fast expand against a Zerg player. It's a great build, I love it, and I have to say, it's a very, very powerful build. It allows you to get even with a Zerg player in economy while staying safe to any early pushes, to at least most early pushes. There are some early pushes designed specifically to kill the three gate expansion, but even those are kind of dubious, so. It's basically safe against most uh, Zerg early pushes, as long as you react properly. And it's all, all around a great build. So we're going to build our pylon at 9 supply, because that's when you want to build it, so that you cut probes the least. But also, you get your pylon out. I don't know if that made any sense. That's alright. Ooh, I see my, his overlord over here. So I don't need to scout that way. I know that my Zerg opponent is right over there. Use my first Chrono Boost on my probes. Continue to pr produce probes continuously. They just pay for themselves so, so quickly that there's no reason not to get those probes that early. Use my second Chrono Boost on my probes as soon as my first Chrono Boost finish. And I'm actually going to have to get to 14 supply before building a gateway, and that's alright. So, I'm going to place my gateway over here, one block away from the wall, so that there's going to be a tiny corridor for my zealots to sit in, a nice corridor where no zerglings can get in. So now I'm at his base, I'm going to scout around and also get my assimilator, because I want some gas. I like to continue to chrono boost out my units, but uh, my probes, but that's just me. Uh, I like to be very economical. Get a pylon on 16 supply as well. Accidentally cut a harvester there, which is not good. But now I can see that he's getting a spawning pool right now. And I'm not too worried about any early, uh, well, any super early aggression. Because he seems to be getting his spawning pool on the normal time. Transfer my guys to this assimilator as well. And ooh, I'm forgetting him. Doing that a bit late, also getting my, uh, Cybernetic score right as soon as my gateway finishes. You can build a zealot out of that gateway as well. As soon as you have enough money, continue to produce probes and now get your second gas geyser. After you build up enough money as well, make sure to go and build a second pylon, or third pylon, I guess you could say, over here to make sure that you don't get supply blocked. And now you can see that I'm actually at 23 supply, and my Zerg opponent still has not expanded. I'm playing against a computer over here to uh, demonstrate this build, but if you're playing on the ladder and your Zerg opponent hasn't expanded by now, if they're playing well, then they're probably going to be doing some sort of weird uh, one base all in. So you might want to be a bit worried. Right now I'm not, because I know it's just a computer and the computer's not very good, but you might want to be worried if you don't see an expansion by now. And your opponent isn't bronze, silver, or gold. In bronze, silver, or gold, they could be doing whatever and you might not understand it. So I get a stalker right after my first zealot, continue to chrono boost out my warp gate research, get two more gateways over here in my base, continue to produce SC uh, probes. And now, make sure that I don't get supply blocks, so you can see that I'm continuing to build this. Now I'm going to get a sentry out of my gateway as, after my stalker. I prefer getting a stalker after your first zealot. Some people prefer getting a sentry after your first zealot. It's all a matter of preference. And now we're just going to continue chrono boosting out our warp gate research, continue building probes, and continue building sentries out of these three gateways until we have enough money to expand, which should be pretty soon. You can see we're building up a decent amount of money. Uh, warp gate technology is almost done. I can build like another round of sentries before this finishes, I think. I don't know. I might as well just wait for it to finish. So now, move out with my probe, build this nexus over here, change all these warp gates, uh, gateways into warp gates, continue building harvesters, and build a pylon over here to start walling off the area of my natural expansion. I can start building, uh, bringing out my army as well, warp in some sentries since now I have new warp gates, and at the same time, I'm going to actually get hallucination out of my cybernetic score. The reason why I'm getting hallucination is so that my uh, my sentries can can hallucinate phoenixes and then scout my Zerg opponent's base. Now, you can see here I'm still building more pylons, 
as usual. I'm building a forge as part of my wall, and that's to get upgrades and also to build a cannon over here at the front of my base for both defense and detection. So I'm going to build more sentries, more zealots as well. Zealots are decent against Zerg in the early game. And now you can see if Zerg attempts to move in, uh, you know, you, you are very safe. Okay, so I can build this. Oh, looks like some units coming in. Now I can take out these Zergings pretty easily. And now force field in all these roaches and warp in some more reinforcements. And you can see that was actually pretty easy to take out the Zergs. Because I have a decent number of units, almost as many as a foregate, you could say, but with an expansion. So now I'm going to move out with my probes, transfer my probes, build another gateway. And basically, my Zerg opponent has gone for an early push that failed, and I can basically counter push. Actually, uh, before counter pushing, hallucinate a phoenix. Check to make sure if your Zerg opponent is making additional units to try to all in you a little more or if he's making more probes or more drones because that actually will affect your reaction a bit and you can see that it looks like he's just uh, he did make a few more units but he's still on one base so I'm not too worried about anything since now I have double his income and it doesn't matter whatever he's doing uh, if I just have more units now with this build, you can transition into a 6 gate attack, which is actually very powerful, and what you do, um, what most Protoss players will like to do now, is build a robotics facility, and then two more gateways, which is a great build, and also, uh, at the same time, research weapons plus one over here at your, the front of your other base, at the same time now. Um, you can see that I still have a bit of extra energy on my sentries. I mean, a, a bit extra gas than minerals. So now I have less gas than minerals. I'm going to build two more assimilators. A few more assimilators over here to give me more gas. Continue to build pylons to make sure that I don't get supply block. Chrono boost out important things like my research uh, and also now an observer. And as soon as my other two gateways finish, or right before they even finish, I can start moving out with my units. Uh, and with my probe, if I still have a probe over there, I can build a proxy pylon. Otherwise, I can send in a new probe, build a proxy pylon, and now I need to start warping in pylons two at a time. And just basically warp them in as soon as the previous one finish is. Now my observer is finished, so I'm going to move it with my stalkers and sentries and army put some more proxy pylons just because they can and now this is a very very powerful attack that it's very difficult for Zergs to stop also you could uh, just go for five gateways one robotics facility and get a robotic space start getting a few colossus and also getting a few board breaks. but right now you can see I actually just have more stuff in this guy the guardian shield as well and See, I have not enough Vespin gas. Oh, that's because I'm not harvesting gas from here. Since I'm attacking him, I can also take a third at the same time, which... and continue to research weapons upgrades, armor upgrades, so I can take a third right now, uh, but basically a third. Make sure you warp in as many units as you can. Continue building pylons so you don't get supply blocked. That's probably not the best location for more pylons since you could lose them. But since I've basically already won, I don't really care. So, and there's a GG from my opponent. Hopefully, this was an informative tutorial on how to 3 gateway expand. You don't have to do the exact same things that I did after the 3 gate expand as long as you're spending all the money that you have because this is a very flexible build you know i could go for a stargate after my three gate expansion. i could go for colossus instead i went for a six gate plus one and uh with the observer push the observer is to make sure that your opponent doesn't have like burrow approaches or something sometimes players will just be like you know i don't really care if they um i'm going to take that risk and not get the robotics facility not get that observer really really just depends but 
It's a powerful build, it's very flexible in what you can do, and it is one of the staple builds against Zerg players in this matchup. And there's the GG. I guess the GG to Freddy, but you can you can do other things. You can transition into Dark Templar and, you know, do some crazy stuff with that. Um, you can do whatever. And it's up to you what you can do as long as you make sure you spend all of your money. And you should be in Diamond or even Masters in no time. Thanks for watching and hope this helps.